Lesson 1.2a, comparing positive and negative integers. This is the first of four parts for lesson 1.2. We can compare and order integers by graphing them on a number line. We read the integers in order from left to right to order them from least to greatest. The numbers we're given are 2, negative 1, 3, and 0. We graph the 2, the negative 1, the 3, and the 0. We read them from left to right, negative 1, then 0, then 2, then 3. We have ordered them from least to greatest. So remember, an integer is any positive or negative whole number and 0. And 0 is an integer that isn't positive or negative. And opposites are the same distance from 0 on different sides of 0. And the opposite of 0 is 0. And when we graph on a number line, we draw the points. We plot the points. We learned this in the last lesson, 1.1, which is linked in the description if you missed it. This table shows Sophia's earning and spending record for one week. The green means she earned money. The red negative number means she spent money. And we can graph her dollars earned and spent on the number line. On Sunday, she didn't earn or spend any money. She has a zero. We can graph the zero. On Monday, she earned $5. That's a positive 5. We're going to graph it there. Tuesday, she has negative 3. That means she spent $3. Wednesday, it's a positive 3. That means she earned $3. We can plot that. Thursday, she earned $7. We can plot that. Friday is a negative 2. That means she spent $2. We can plot that. Saturday, she spent $6. It's a negative 6. We can plot that. So by looking at this table and this number line, which day did she earn the most money? Well, 7 is the greatest amount. That's Thursday. If you said Thursday, you're correct. Thursday is the most because 7 is farther to the right than the other points. And which day did she spend the most money? We can find this by looking for the point farthest to the left. That's a negative 6. That would be Saturday. This table shows the combined win-loss record for several sports teams. Here we have the teams A, B, C, D, E, and F. This is their combined win-loss record in positive, negative numbers, and zero. A team with more wins than losses will have a positive combined record, and a team with more losses than wins will have a negative combined record. We graph the win-loss combined record for each team and label each point with the team's letter. A is negative 2, so we've graphed our point here and we've labeled it A. B is a positive 1. We've graphed the point and labeled that point B. C is 0. We've got our point with the C there. D is negative 4. We've got that labeled. E is a positive 3 and F is a negative 3. So now we can answer some questions about this number line and the table. So remember, a team with more wins will have a positive record, and a team with more losses will have a negative record. So here we've got our number line with our team record graphed on the number line. So which team had the best record? How would we know? Well, if you said Team E, you're right. How do we know that Team E has the best record? If you said the record is farthest right on the number line, you're correct. 
They're the farthest to the right, so they have the best record. Team E has the best record because their record is graphed farthest to the right. So which team had the worst record, and how do we know? Well, if the farthest to the right is the best record, the farthest to the left must be the worst record. And how do we know that? Because it's graphed farthest to the left. Team D has the worst record because their record is graphed farthest to the left. Now, which team won the same number of games as they lost? Can you look at this and figure out which team won the same number of games as they lost? If you said Team C, you're correct. That would be Team C. And how do we know that they won the same number of games as they lost? We know because it's graphed at a zero, it means they won the same number of games as they lost. Their combined record isn't positive or negative, it's zero. We know Team C won the same number of games as they lost because their record isn't positive or negative, it's zero. And if they had more wins, it would be a positive number. And if they had more losses, it would be a negative number. So they must have had the same number of wins and losses to make it zero. The next part of this lesson is going to be lesson 1.2b. We're going to be doing ordering positive and negative integers. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you for our next lesson. Remember to hit the like button. Bye.